The Nintendo 3DS and Wii U eShops will be closing on March 27th, 2023. This means you'll no longer be able to make any new purchases, although you should still be able to re-download software you already own. As of right now, it's impossible to use a credit card directly on your 3DS or Wii U. And if you want to add funds before the shop closes, you would need to use an eShop gift card. However, there is another way. If you take the Nintendo Network ID used on your 3DS or Wii U and link it with the Nintendo account on your Switch, then you can merge those balances and any money you add to your Switch can also be used to make purchases on your 3DS or Wii U. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through that process. At the end, I'll also give you a list of some must-buy Pokemon games that I highly recommend everyone purchases before it's too late. I'm going to demonstrate this working on a 3DS, but the process should be very similar on a Wii U. First, you'll want to open the 3DS eShop to verify the Nintendo Network ID you're currently using. It should display this information while the shop is loading. Once that's confirmed, you'll need to go to accounts.nintendo.com and log into your Nintendo account. This should be the same account your Nintendo Switch profile is linked to. Once you're logged in, you should see a section called Linked Accounts. Click the Edit button. Then you'll be able to click the option for Nintendo Network ID. It will ask you to log in, which will likely be different credentials than your Nintendo account. I know this may seem overly convoluted, but don't blame me, blame Nintendo. Once the accounts are linked, you should be ready to add some funds. So, hop on over to your Nintendo Switch and fire up the eShop. Once it loads, select the profile icon in the upper right corner of the screen. Then click Add Funds. Next, you'll select your payment method and how much you want to add. Once the payment processes and you have a balance in your wallet, you're almost done. However, there's one important step left before you can use that money on your 3DS. If this is the first time you've linked your Nintendo account and Nintendo Network ID, then you will need to select the option Merge Funds from Nintendo 3DS or Wii U. You only have to go through this process once, but now whatever balance you have on your Nintendo account should also be available on your 3DS or Wii U. You can also add funds and merge your balances from the Nintendo account website under the shop menu. So if you go back over to your 3DS and reload eShop, your balance should no longer be zero, and you can now purchase whatever you want before the shop closes on March 27th. Now that that's all set, I want to quickly go over some must-have purchases. You may be aware that Game Boy titles were recently added to Nintendo Switch Online. However, Pokemon was not among those announcements like we were all hoping it would be. And since we're almost out of time, I highly recommend you purchase all of the Game Boy Virtual Console Pokemon titles from the 3DS eShop before it closes, since we currently have no guarantee when or if they'll be coming to the Nintendo Switch. These games include Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. In addition to those games, you also must download Pokemon Bank and Poketransporter, so you can move Pokemon from the Virtual Console titles into Pokemon Home. Previously, Pokemon Bank had a yearly subscription fee, but after the shop closes, it should become free to use. So I highly recommend you make sure it's downloaded to your 3DS so you can use it in the future. I also recommend you download the Pokemon Sun and Moon and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire demos, since they let you get a couple unique Pokemon. The last two I also recommend are Pokemon Dream Radar and Pokemon Picross. There are also some more Pokemon games in the shop that you could purchase if you want, but the ones I've listed here are must-haves in my opinion. I also wanted to show how to do this on the Wii U, but I couldn't find my charger for my gamepad, and you can barely do anything on the stupid Wii U without the gamepad. I need to update the system to access the eShop, but you can only update the system if you can type in some stuff on the gamepad. Just one of Nintendo's many mistakes when it came to the Wii U. Should just be able to use the Pro Controller to do all this stuff, but no, of course not. But here's the basic idea. You should be able to go up to the icon on the left here and mess with your Nintendo Network ID settings. And then once you have the proper ID linked to your Wii U, just like we did for the 3DS, you now should be able to go to the eShop and then access those funds and buy whatever you want. In addition to the Pokemon games I mentioned in this video, both eShops are filled with a lot of great games some of which may no longer be easily accessible after the eShops close. So, I highly recommend you browse the shops for anything that may appeal to you, and make sure to purchase it all before March 27th. If you followed along with my tutorial, then you should be able to add funds and purchase whatever you want with relative ease. So act now before it's too late. Since that went quicker than I was expecting, I also have one small announcement before I wrap things up. By the time you're watching this video, Channel memberships should now be live on my channel. It's mostly just a way for you to support the channel if you like what I do and want to help out. But there are some perks for becoming a member. At the Bugcatcher tier, you'll get a loyalty badge based on how long you've been a member. 
new members get the standard red version of my channel icon. Then after one month, it turns blue. After two months, green. Six months, it's yellow. And if you remain a member for one year or longer, you'll get a sparkly gold badge. Then eventually, I hope to create some custom emojis. But as of right now, I don't have any of those finished. You also get your name shown on the screen at the end of all my videos. Plus, if you leave a comment, you'll receive priority, and I'll attempt to reply as soon as possible. And lastly, if at some point I do any live streams on the channel, the chat will be restricted to members only. Then, if you join at the Picnicker tier, these are all Pokemon Trainer classes if you haven't caught on yet, you'll receive all perks from the Bug Catcher tier, as well as access to any exclusive members only videos I produce. Those could range from full length uncut gameplay to behind the scenes. I haven't really decided yet. And lastly, if you decide to jump in at the Ace Trainer tier, you'll receive all perks from the lower tiers in addition to a verbal shoutout at the end of all my videos. Keep in mind that all these perks are preliminary, and if I start getting some people joining, I may attempt to add additional perks to the higher tiers to provide more value. I also create a Patreon with the same tiers and perks, but you lose out on some of the YouTube specific offerings like the loyalty badges and members only chat. So I recommend the YouTube channel memberships, but figured I'd also provide Patreon as an option for those who may prefer it. So for anyone who's interested, you can now click the join button to become a member. Additionally, I also now accept super thanks as an option for a one-time donation if memberships aren't really your thing. It's all completely optional of course, but any support would mean the world to me and allow me to put even more effort into my videos to produce the best content possible. I'm still learning the art of video production but I've come a long way, and if you enjoy my content, I hope you'll consider becoming a channel member. I'm hoping to build a community, and I think channel memberships will go a long way towards making that a reality. My channel has seen a lot of growth lately, so I also just wanted to take a moment to thank everyone who has subscribed recently. It's because of you that I finally earned the ability to enable things like channel memberships. I first started my channel almost exactly six years ago, and there were moments when I started to lose motivation and wonder if I should just quit. But the past year has been unexpected, and now I am more excited than ever for the future of this channel. I have some fun video ideas, and I hope you all come on this adventure with me. Well, I think that will wrap things up for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm extremely close to 3,000 subscribers, so let's see if we can make it happen. But I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night, whatever time it might be for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.